Eight minutes to eight. Imagine being based in the Antarctic wilderness for months at a time with brutal weather conditions and extreme isolation. How would you keep yourself busy? Well, the Claire's case practising the piano. But I suppose making a horror film wouldn't be at the top of your list, would it? But that's exactly what Danny Edmonds from Church Stretton found himself doing while he was working for the British Antarctic Survey. BBC Radio Shropshire's John T. O'Donnell went to investigate. There is, I feel sure, no region in the world more grand in its scenery than the Antarctic, and no place more transcendent in its beauty. It's a vast wonderland laid out on a giant scale, in which littleness has no place, but its very vastness no less than its beauty. While it quickens the traveller's daily wonder and deepens his reverence, forces him to feel that it's a world he can never conquer, a world in which the forces of nature are too tremendous to overcome and must resignedly be bowed before in the hope that they will suffer him to come and pass again unscathed. I think that's one of the best quotes written about Antarctica. The feeling I'm, I'm getting from that is an awe-inspiring place, but somewhere that you have to respect as well. It's not to be taken lightly. Oh, that's entirely right. Yeah, absolutely. What sort of work were you doing in Antarctica? Uh, well, my job down there was as the boating officer, so I ran all of the boating operations that were going on in and around the base. The, the base I was at, Rothera, is um, actually on the coastline. It's, it's on a small island called Adelaide Island, which is off the, the side of the uh, Antarctic Peninsula. And we were comparatively mild in terms of climate because we're next to the sea, we have a maritime climate. The worst temperature we hit in our winter was minus 25. And, but you can feel that, you know, minus 25 is an awful lot. If you go into the centre of the continent, then, you know, minus 40 will be a good day. And there's a place called Vostok, which is uh, a Russian base. And I think they hit minus 89. So minus recorded. 89? Yeah. That's deep in the heart of the continent. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so <laughs> amongst these temperatures, amongst this, this wilderness and all the hard work that you're doing, one of you guys had an idea for a film. Tell me about that. Someone's killing us off. One by one. The Antarctic winter team we had, there were about 21 of us. Um, and one of them is a, a filmmaker. Uh, that's what he does. His name's Kirk Watson. He comes from Scotland. And his plan was to come down and make films while he was down there. He didn't really have any ideas about what films he was going to make, but he was just going to make films. Now, in addition to that, we had uh, our doctor, Matt Edwards, who wanted to, to write a horror film. And... I think really just because he liked the idea of doing lots and lots of gory <laughs> special effects. Um, <laughs> doctors have a slightly warped sense of humour. Um, anyway, so you combine Matt's uh, desire to make a, a horror film with Kirk's ability to make a horror film and um, throw in our meagre acting ability, and that's what we came out with. Do you star in the film yourself, then? I wouldn't say star. It's more of an ensemble <laughs> cast. I, I am in the film, though. Without giving too much away, because the film's just about to premiere, isn't it? That's right, yeah. What's the plot? What, what happens? Uh, the idea is that it's a, a research base in Antarctica, funnily enough, <laughs> and um, all contact is lost from the base in the middle of the winter, and uh, when the relief crew go in at the beginning of the next summer period, they find a diary and find out that everyone's been killed. Wow. So not only have you been working in Antarctica, now you're in a film that's just about to be premiered. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. I have to admit that I don't think any of us really ever thought it would ever be seen outside the 21 of us. And the fact that now there's a possibility it might be seen by rather more than that is a little bit scary. <laughs> Do you think you'll be uh, featuring in any films anytime soon? Have you got a taste for it now? I think it's highly unlikely, but... Um... <laughs> That's Danny Edmonds uh, never know. from Church Stretton, South of Sanity, premiering in New York on Halloween, then available online. You can see the trailer on YouTube. You put in South of Sanity.